And as we were talking about before, probably something that makes this even a little bit more challenging is the fact that it, first, it's fairly convincing in the argument it puts together, which, you know, I, I really wish this is like a responsible AI thing is to provide some amount of confidence score like use an adaptive Bayesian network or something that is going to give you a distribution of the data that you've looked at. And so you can come in saying, I have a 74% uh, belief that I'm right here. So people can at least have an intuition on whether we should believe you or not. And I think this can be done. Uh, there's a variety of ways to do this. And so just having that little number, uh, it's 55% sure this is right. Then, then this system can like strong claim stuff all at once. I think then that's, that's totally fine. Strong claim away. But if you don't first add that piece, uh, the strong claims make it super compelling to believe in this. And then uh, as we discussed last time, one of the things, things that makes this potentially even trickier is this works for many of the cases, probably most of the cases that someone would test. And so if you were rewriting this code and someone's like, well, I'll just copy paste this. And then you have not fully exhaustive tests. You might be convinced that this code is actually a reduction of the original and you commit it and people aren't looking very closely. And then uh, a year from now, someone figures out a way to essentially hack your system because they can get this thing to go awry with exactly the right state. Not super great. So I guess the takeaway is uh, mentor wins 